50 seconds. completely understand what you're saying. Well, I tell you what, I'm gonna keep you posted on all the developments. So don't worry about it, okay? All right. Thanks for your help. All right, talk to you later. Bye. This morning, federal authorities moved reputed Serbian mafia kingpin, Sergei Kolchev, to an undisclosed high security courtroom in downtown San Diego. Convicted of racketeering and extortion, Kolchev now faces the death penalty for the execution-style murder of Alexa Andreeva. Prosecutors are confident he will be found guilty as the crime morning. was witnessed by hey, Andreeva's eight-year-old daughter. Both daughter and Andreeva's widow have been in the witness mm, protection program really. since the crime was committed over nine months ago. The widow and daughter... Yeah, one of our servers isn't responding. Oh, really? Which one? Seafair Cruises. I called the tech to go out there and fix it, and I haven't heard anything. Who'd you send out? Steven. He's green. You know him. He's not gonna check in until he's dotted all his I's and crossed his T's. Listen, I should, um, I should probably go before Gwen gets up, don't you think? Oh, no, sweetie, don't do that. I don't want you to feel like you gotta sneak around here like some one-night stand. I love you. And Gwen is just going to have to get used to the fact that we are together. Oh, I have a great idea. Why don't you come to the spa with us? Uh, no, no, I, I don't think so. After all the eye rolling and heavy sighing at dinner last night, I think the two of you could really use some good mother-daughter quality time. Besides, somebody has to mind the store. Speaking of which, I think you're going to be going by Santa Rina. So I called Seafarer Cruises. And I thought that... Uh, and you want me to stop by and check on Steven? Do you mind? I mean, it's such a short detour. And besides, they know you're coming, so you'll have no trouble getting in. Sure. Thank you. That is a load off my mind. Mm -hmm. And I do have to go. Oh. I love you. Mm. I miss you. I miss you too. Have fun today. and daughter of murdered businessman Alexa Andreeva will finally have their day in court to face the man accused of the killing. The eight-year-old child allegedly witnessed the homicide and will testify today. If found guilty, Kolchev faces death by lethal injection. Known as the Bastard of Bosnia, Kolchev has controlled the Eastern European gangs since the late 1980s when he emigrated to the U.S. In business news, the Dow was up 114 points, and the Nasdaq up 27. Tonight at 9 p.m., Too Close to Love, based on a true story.
man she's marrying is actually her long-lost brother, separated at birth. And previously convicted of money laundering, racketeering, and extortion, Kolchev has controlled the Eastern European gang since the late 1980s, when he emigrated to the U.S. Can we not listen to the news? Well, we can't listen to this. Let's not listen to anything. You're gonna love the spa, you know. Seaweed wraps, mud baths, massages. It's gonna be a weekend of pampering for the birthday girl. Could've just gotten me an iPod. I thought it would be nice for us to spend your birthday together. I was gonna hang out with Denise. You can hang out with Denise any time. You know, Dad would have let me go. When? You know, he actually lets me make decisions. He treats me like an adult. Okay, so when you're living with your father, you two can do whatever you want. You're gonna have a good time, I promise. <laughs> yeah, wow. A business trip to the middle of nowhere. I know, I'm sorry. It's just one stop on the way there. You know, these are new clients. The field tech didn't show up, so David kind of asked yeah, if- and of course you do everything that David asks you to do. Is this about David and me? Is that what this is about? No, Mom, this isn't about David and you, actually, okay? My point is that you do everything everyone asks of you, except for me. We need gas. something to eat. No junk food. Good morning, ma'am. What'll it be today? Uh, just fill her up regular, thanks. Okay. David Easter. Hey, it's me. Sam. I hadn't heard from you. You know, I was actually getting ready to call search and rescue. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. It's Friday afternoon traffic. You know, Stephen was supposed to have fixed this a long time ago. Oh, it's not a problem. You know what? I bet I can have the server up and running and still be at the spa by 6. Speaking of which, how's it going with the birthday girl? Oh, not as well as I'd hoped. Please tell me we weren't this bad when we were her age. <laughs> Uh, listen, I'm gonna call you when I get the server up, okay? I miss you, Sam. I miss you, too. What, no fruit? Teenagers, huh? Yeah. Have a nice day. You, too. Uh, that'll be 32.20, please. Okay. Keep the change. Thank you much. going to talk to me the entire weekend. Well, what's there to talk about? Oh, I'm sensing a little resentment. Mom, you're sensing a lot of resentment. About your birthday? No, about you. Keep 
seatbelts on. Get the plates. No, you. I need my phone. Oh, I'm sorry, I dropped it out the window when you swore. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I'll, I'll go play down the car on the side. No, of the road. Gwen, you stay with the car. I'm gonna <clears> take these people on the phone. Mom, I can just Gwen, go to the stay with the car, okay? Just do what I say for once. I don't wanna fight anymore. Just stay there. I'll be back. Oh. oh, you scared me. No, I, I know the resort is closed. I just need to borrow a phone. My car broke down. Payphone's disconnected. Yeah. I have phone an office you can use. Please, follow me. Careful stepping. Watch some nails and broken glass. Phone. Thank you. Some idiot ran us off the road, and now my car won't start. There's smoke everywhere. You want something to drink? Some water? Ah, uh, yeah, that'd be great. Roadside assistance. How may I help you? Oh, uh, hello. Yes. Um, I'm at the uh, resort at Hidden Cove in Santa Rena, and my car's broken down outside. Okay, we got it. Someone should be there with a truck in 20 minutes. Hmm. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. <sighs> Thanks for the phone. So, you renovating? Tearing down. Building condos, 40 units. All ocean view. They say this view worth a million dollars. Well, it's quiet. <laughs> Some people like isolation. Are you okay, Mom? Something wrong? Uh, no, I'm fine. I just, I don't feel, I think I'm gonna get some air. Mom? Oh! <gasps> Come on, where the hell is everybody?
By now, I assume you found your associate in the tub. Why is Stephen dead? What are you doing? Why am I here? Do as I ask, and I promise you, this will all be over in a matter of hours. Do what? What the hell is going on? Take a deep breath. Miss Raid, do we understand each other? Yes. Yes. Excellent. There is a computer on the desk in back of you. The top of the desk. That's right. Now, open it up. Turn it on. Okay. The battery is only half full. That gives you 85 minutes to complete the task I'm going to give to you. Open the internet browser. What is it? It's a database. As you can see, it's encrypted. I'm relying on your expertise to break the code and retrieve the information. What kind of information? You have till 5.25 to finish. That is when the battery dies. Wait, wait, what kind of information? That's not important. And before you have any ideas about doing something heroic, you should know I control all the phone lines and the computer network. If you send so much as a carrier pigeon, I will slit your daughter's throat. Why me? What makes you think that I can do this? <laughs> you are a remarkable woman, Miss Freed. You manage one of the largest computer networks in the world for a living. This should be a walk in the park for you. What about Stephen? Is that what you told him before you killed him? He was just a kid, for Christ's sake. Oh, for your daughter's sake. I hope that Stephen's boss is better at doing her job than Stephen was at his. I... I have to get out of here. I gotta get you out of this, Gwen.
Jaču. Jaču. Her car is hidden. Pop. You're sure she can do this? She's doing it. They move Natalia at six o'clock. Materialists and madmen never have doubts. Gilbert Keith Chesterton. bit encryption. It would take a single person working 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 50 years to decode this information. I'm not interested in problems, only solutions. I need the information contained in that database. It's a mathematical impossibility. I just don't have the processing power to break the code. Perhaps if you use the same zeal to break the code that you used to get Seafair Cruises as a client, you will succeed. <laughs> you see, Samantha, there is no such company as Seafair Cruises. It was all, how do you say in English? Uh, it was all a sham. This entire thing was a setup from the beginning. Yes. <laughs> and I assure you, I have prepared for every contingency. I could kill you right now and not lose a bit of sleep. I am, however, disappointed that you would risk the life of your daughter so willingly. Goodbye, Miss Reed. Wait. I might be able to do it, but I need something. You've mistaken my concern for compassion. Since it's in both our best interests for you to get what you want, I need access to my office server. You are in no position. Do you want the information or not? Look, with access to my office server, I will be able to assemble an entire cluster of computers to decrypt your precious information. You have two minutes. But betray me. And I will slice off one of your daughter's delicate fingers. Perhaps the one with the ring that you gave her for her birthday? Very good, Miss Reed. Now I'll enter the access code. Yet. Not yet. I've given her access to her office server. Peach to this. She's very smart. She knows that laptop isn't strong enough without the help of the other computers.
What are you doing? I ask you a question. I'm busy. When I ask questions, I expect them to be answered. Fine. You ever heard of a Beauty and the Beast email? No. What happens is, is you get an email with a photo attached, usually a scantily clad woman. And when you open the file, the hacker who sent you the email is able to hijack your processor and use it to run complex programs. It's also called zombifying a computer. Combining all the single computers into one supercomputer. That's right. Instead of just this laptop working on the algorithms, I'll have thousands. Watch. As each person opens my email, my program hacks into their computer, using it to help me break the code. Hmm? My, my. Whoa. Whoa. Man, nice legs. A little bit too skinny there, you know? Yeah. Big tits. <laughs> Oh, check this out. Oh, all right. <laughs> Done. That's very impressive. Now, don't disappoint me. Promise to be a good little girl? Hmm? <laughs> Thought you might be hungry. You'll not be alone with him again. <laughs> he touches the child again. I'll kill him myself. But what are you doing, brother? You need to think a little bit. One day, one day, only one day. Go! Go! Go!
I realize the system is unstable. That's why I went ahead and upgraded the chipset. Listen, I told Abernathy last weekend that if we yes. continued to produce off the D-Series, we were just asking for trouble. Yeah, well, I would like Samantha's approval on it, too, but she's up in Santa Rena on a job, and she'll be back on Monday. We'll discuss it then, all right? But I don't know what you want me to say here, Spencer, all right? I am not a miracle worker. I gotta call you back. Hey, Rich? Yeah. Get me somebody on the phone from Seafarer Cruises now. Okay. Please tell me you got that email. Do you copy? Over. This is Agent Randall. Over. We've located the computer hacker. Proceed to Data Visnet Corporation, 170010 Broad Street Avenue, top floor. 170010 Broad Street. We're on it. Tried information, Lexus Nexus. Nobody's even heard of Seafarer Cruises. I gotta call you back. Can I help you, gentlemen? I'm Special Agent Randall. This is Special Agent Hergott. We're with the FBI Cyber Investigations Unit. Is there a problem with one of our products? Actually, one of your employees, Samantha Reed. Just you shut the door, please? So, what do you need to know about Samantha? A week ago, we first detected someone was trying to access a secure federal server. The FBI and the NIPC set up a tracer system in case they came back. Fifteen minutes ago, we intercepted an intruder trying to gain access to that network. The intruder was trying to decrypt information using several of your internal programs. These are data visnet core securities, aren't they? We license our technology to hundreds of companies including the government. We're aware of your product's applications, Mr. Easter. These particular programs are stamped with your own internal thumbprint. Username read Samantha A. She's been hacking into the FBI's witness protection database. Well, I just spoke to her an hour ago. She's on her way up to North County, Santa Rita, to visit a client, so obviously somebody else is using her login ID and password. Client? Seafarer Cruises. So she's there right now? Running a little bit late. Could you get Miss Reed on the phone for us? Sure. Hi, this is Samantha Reed, and I'm not available, so please leave a message. Obviously, somebody's lying here. And if it's you, better pray to God I don't find out about it. asking all kinds of questions about you. What the hell is going on, Sam? Call me. Andy, telephone. Andy, get the telephone. Yes. The telephone. Yes. Yes, yes. yes. Santa Rina Sheriff's Department. Yeah, I, uh, I need to speak to an officer. What? 
Hello, this is Officer Erickson, Santa Rina Sheriff's Department. Can I help you, please? This is uh, David Easter from Data Business Corporation. I just need to know if anybody's reported any accidents, broken down cars, anything like that. See, one of my employees is in Santa Rina on business with their daughter, and uh, nobody's been able to reach him. Sandy, has anyone reported any accidents today? No, there's nothing here. What's the girl's name? Re Samantha Reed, R-E-E-D. And her daughter's name is Gwen. Man, what kind of car was she driving? It was a, a red 1997 Ford Taurus. And where was the meeting? It's a company called Seafarer Cruises. Seafarer Cruises? Yeah, all right, I'll tell you what, if you uh, email me a photo, I'll show it around, okay? Okay, sure. What's, uh, what's your email address? Uh-huh. All right, I got it. I'm gonna do that right now. All right, thank you. Hello, Sandy. Said hello, Sandy. Hi, Sheriff. Hey, hey, check this out. 35-foot motor yacht, sleep six. It's got a twin 8.1 liter, 425 horsepower. I took it for a test drive this morning. What, you hit the lottery or something? Hey, man can dream, can he? So, what did I miss? I just got a call from a data Viznet corp. They think one of their employees might have uh, had an accident or something. She didn't show up at a meeting and they never heard from her. Life in a small town, huh? Where was she going? Seafarer Cruises. You ever heard of it? Mm, nope. You got a picture of her? I do now. Just got an email. Let me print it out. Here we go. Huh, mother and daughter. Isolated a source for a server break-in. Is it Reed? Possibly. From the looks of the line, it's definitely commercial, not residential. Where? Right here in San Diego. How long before we get an address? Minutes. I want teams standing by ready to intercept on my call. Any movement on the Reed house? Stakeout reports zero activity in the last 30 minutes. Good. Let's rock and roll. Okay, Sandy, what do you got? Well, I've checked the Small Business Administration. Mm -hmm. I've checked the Chamber of Commerce. Right. And i checked the Better Business Bureau. But no one has a record of seafarer cruises. No one, huh? No one. You sure? Certain. All right, Cindy. Thank you, honey. What's going on? What's going on? Hey, who? Come here. Check this out. I ran a check on the Samantha Reed. Turns out she's in a lot of trouble. You ran a check? Mm-hmm. Oh, come on, Erickson. The woman probably ran out on her husband. Listen, the Fed's got a brick wall around her bank accounts, phones, everything. Feds. They're all over this. Yeah. Look, that's good. Let them handle it. Hey, she could be in a lot of trouble. The last thing we need today is a lot of Feds crawling up our ass. You get me? Hey, come on, Chief. I'm telling you something. Drop it, Erickson. Just drop it. Going out for a bit. Yes, This morning, federal authorities moved reputed Sergei hey, Mon, Kingpin, hey. Sergei Kolchev, to an undisclosed high-security courtroom in downtown San Diego. Prosecutors are confident he will be found guilty as the crime was witnessed 
by Andreeva's eight-year-old daughter. Both daughter and Andreeva's widow have been in the witness protection program since the crime was committed over nine months ago. Something wrong, Miss Reed. What are you gonna do to her? So, you've made progress. That's excellent. Tell me. It's none of your concern, Samantha. This is the Kolchev case, isn't it? She is an innocent woman. She has done nothing to you. You know, we have very similar jobs, you and I. We are sent in to clean up other people's messes. Her daughter is nine years old. If you think that I'm going to help make her an orphan, you... Oh, there will be no orphans. You bastard. I need her name and address. I will not be part of this. Do you hear me? I will not. <sighs> A woman and her daughter will die today. I'm just giving you the luxury of deciding which two it will be. Where's Ivan? I don't know. I need some fresh air. Now, one minute more. in a hotel room in Santorina. I... Damn it. Hello? 
Santa Rina Sheriff's Department. Officer in charge, please. Hold on. Hello, Officer Erickson. Yes, this is San Diego Emergency Dispatch. We got a call from a unit you might want to know about. Well, let's hear it. 4.39 p.m. 911, what's the nature of your emergency? Help me! I'm trapped in a hotel room in Santa Rina. I Did we get a trace? Negative. Okay, thanks a lot. I'm gonna look into it. Sandy, we got a phone book around here? I think so. Right here, Sandy. Sandy, right here. Okay? Listen, I'm going out, okay? What am I supposed to tell the chief? Tell him I went out for a burger or something. FBI's here. Our hacker's in the internet cafe. Go get her. San Diego Sheriff's Department, everyone move away from the computers, now! We got her. Might as well have some fun while I sit here on my dupe. I don't see what's such a big deal. The mama's doing the work. Fine. It is a man's own mind, not his enemy or foe that lures him to evil ways. The Buddha. Busted. Lights busted. What the? What the hell happened? Where is she? This is all we found. A router? She could be anywhere. <sighs> Thanks for your help, Sheriff. Dead end. It's time to sit on the bus. Let's go. So, um, Samantha Reed and her daughter, they haven't checked in yet? Mm, not yet. Um, I get them done for their mother-daughter spa package. Mother-daughter spa. All right, if they do show up, would you give me a call, please? Oh, sure. Um, should I tell them that you can? No, I'll just, you know, call me. All right. All right? Sure. Good company. It's probably just a patrol. No one's been down here for a week. I don't want to risk it. I 
schedule to Yvonne. Don't worry about the police. Just stay on schedule. I don't like it. I told you there was nothing to worry about. Where's my daughter? She's still alive, that's all you have to worry about. Son of a bitch. Get back to work. Okay, you've got ten minutes. The chief there? Erickson, where the hell are you? You were supposed to be back here 30 minutes ago. Listen, chief, I think I found our missing woman. And I thought I told you to drop it. I need you to meet me up at Hidden Cove. That dump? Erickson, just get me some backup. Come on, chief.
to tell me what the hell? Shh. What the hell is going on here? You got a situation inside there. Let me tell you something, Erickson. Nothing that's ever happened in this town is even remotely qualified as a situation. San Diego emergency dispatchers, they got a call from a woman claiming she was being held in a hotel room. Do you know how many hotel rooms there are between here and San Diego? I, I saw three men in there, and they didn't look like the gardeners. And from one of the windows, I think someone was trying to send me a signal. Wait here. Where are you going? Wait. Dress already. Time is running out for you and your daughter. Three men are holding her mom inside. I guess we should do something about that. No! 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 No!
of the sun. We have the girl in our way. Son of a bitch! Please! Erickson, what are you doing? Let the girl go! Erickson, everything's under control. I said let her go! Lower your firearm. I won't ask you again. Put it down! Put it down! Get my phone! Forget the phone! Get her! Shit, you we're partners. Come on. Dress already. What's your status? The girl got away. I can't find her. Keep looking. I don't want any loose ends running around. Yes, sir. Hello, Officer Erickson. Said it's the young woman in the hotel. I put a twelve. Hello. This is Officer Erickson. Are you the young girl I saw in the woods? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks um, for helping me get away. Yeah. You tried to signal me with the light, right? <sighs> yeah. You're a brave girl. What's your name? Gwen. Okay, Gwen. Where are you now? Um, in the old gym. And you alone? Yeah. And your mother? I don't know. Okay, listen, Gwen. Stay where you are, okay? I'm gonna get you out. Just hang in there. Okay. 
Sandy, you still on the line? I'm here. Listen, call Oceanside and Locadia. I need backup ASAP. Where's the chief? Just do it, Sandy. I'm in. You better see this, David. What the? Yeah. Rich, get me somebody from IT. What is it? She's got it. She's got the address. Rich? Yeah. Yeah, listen to me. I need you to map quest the fastest way to San Arena. Will do. Just in the nick of time. The address, give it to me. We had a deal. I want to see my daughter. I won't miss next time. Give me the address. Now! Please, I've done everything you've asked for. I just want to see Gwen! Please, no! Tim, go get him. Going somewhere, Mr. Easter? He's still looking for the girl. What about the mother? Kill her. Are you all right? I'm alive. 
You must be Gwen, right? If it wasn't for her, I might have not found you in time. Mom, I'm so sorry, it's bro. Okay. It's okay. It's okay, sweetie. We're safe. One we got away, but don't worry. We got police coming from two nearby towns. It's gonna be too late then. Too late for what? Do you know where Larson Way is? Sure, why? Stay put, understand? Look, I gave this address to that son of a bitch. Lisa, I don't care, you're not coming. Hey, I wanna go too. No. no. Get back in this car. Go on. Get down. Get in the back seat, get down. And you, cool down. Get down. Natalia and Dreva's safe house. She's the star witness for the Kolchev case. Get back up here immediately. There's Gwen. That's Samantha's daughter. You stay here with them. I'm gonna check it out. Okay. Agent Randall, this way is clear. I'll be right behind you.
As I told Miss Wayne, someone has to die today. Unfortunately, that someone will be you. You guys okay? Yeah, I think so. It's okay. There she is. Arrest her. Hey, David. David, what are you doing here? So what, what do you, you think right? you're doing? Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? If it wasn't yeah. for her, Julie and her daughter would probably be dead by now. Yeah, it's true. That's right. If you go to the resort at Hidden Cove, you'll see it had computer hardware and surveillance equipment. That's where Samantha and Gwen were being held captive for the past two hours. Held by whom? I don't see anyone else here. She whacked him. He's unconscious in the house. Check it out. Yeah, check it out. Mom. Mom. Oh, sweetie. I'm so scared. It's OK. Everything's going to be fine. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sweetie. Hey, it's OK. I'm sorry. You're going to have to come with me and answer some questions. Don't worry, Sam. Don't worry, you'll be fine once I find the hotel. You'll be off the hook. You saved my life, sweetheart. Nice swing, boy. I'll take care of it. It's okay. It's okay. Sweetie. Let's see.